Hello, I am Vion, healer by day, interior decorator by night. Yeah, though if I'm honest, it's probably the other way around. I just wanted to take a couple minutes to show you guys an updated version of my Telgalen house. I have done it before, but a lot of new items have been released since then, and I've made some changes. They're pretty cool. So let's have a second look. Apologize in advance for the cinematography. I am garbage in first person. And that's okay. It's the house that matters. You may notice a few precursors kicking around. Um, if you want to try to count them, I'll tell you how many there are at the end. And if I forget, I'll try to put it on the screen. There are a couple more than the last time this house made it to YouTube. I'll try to hit all of the interactables as well. Each of these side rooms is a little bit themed towards a member of the tribunal. Give it that Morrowind flavor. The library, of course, for the warrior poet. Even though it's all pretty clockwork in here. area is accessible, but it makes the camera freak out, so I won't do that to you. You're welcome. We'll take a moment to show you the doors. These are the Akatosh chancel doors. Um, when left open, they make a nice metal door frame and don't in interfere with the actual door. Spared no expense. Here we have a number of the stone garden items, which were quite cool. You can tell because they're glowing red. I've been enjoying the music boxes, they're quite cool. This is probably the one actual Telvanni spot in the whole place. A little reading nook. I'm not going to sit down because that also makes the camera freak out. Here's Tithis holding down the fort, doing the banking. Workshop is one of my favorite spots in here. Ooh, 
We've got some experiments out, but it looks like somebody's just eating dinner. That looks like a bad idea. Now that pathing is a thing, these guys can crawl around on the table. Probably makes it a little harder to work on them, but it's very cute. Totem still doesn't have a left leg or right hand. That one's a bit big. The little commissary looks delicious. All right, now let's go upstairs. That's not a precursor. big boy. That took some doing. photobombed by his arm. And that about does it for the interior, so let's head outside. In case you missed it before I issued my challenge. We have the laser fountain. Half laser, half fountain. All awesome. I'll give you a close up of the water running down the sides of the altar because that was really hard to do. That was before precision editing. has been amazing. Some sweet coral action down here. Flip secrets in the corners. Our dude Sotha Seal hanging out up there. That is the Alinora Windmill, which is insanely large and very cool. The fishing boat, we've added a figurehead, the Maumer Sea Serpent Totem. It's quite good for that. And this is a couple of items put together here. The Grand Nemograph is the one that spins in the middle there. Um, the base of the large orrery there is almost identical, but not quite. And they can be overlaid pretty closely. And the Orb of Meridia is in the middle there exploding. Very expensive item. 
from the Undaunted Achievement furnishings, but well worth it for that effect. Over here we have the Junk Pile Crab, doing Junk Pile Crab things. And here we have the crafting setup. I don't have all of the clockwork crafting stations, other than that being very expensive, um, they also can't be attuned, so I, I like having mechanical acuity in here. It's thematically appropriate. And there's the transmute station. It is fully accessible. But I always shame myself getting up there. So you can see it is well protected. And we have a sketchy scarecrow with the shard of a, a Shalmawea. And it looks like an anchor chain has fallen on this tree. Might be something Daedric going on. Maybe a little bit of blasphemy on the side. I am going to switch to third person for this trip, because I don't want to die. I've done it a lot in this house, and it's not worth my life. Fun fact, some of the house mushrooms themselves are only cosmetic. So you, if you make the mistake of trusting them, you can fall to your death. So, trust nothing. Kind of cloudy out, but fortunately, I have my own personal sun. Which is very cool. Have a number of astronomical doodads. Also very neat. And this guy, not gonna have any luck today. Also, not going to have any luck today. And up top we have a little bit of an homage to the three. And a little Bardow, just for fun. I will take a sec just to show the view from up top. Well, it's nicer when it's sunny out, but it's quite cute. I love how big that windmill is. So, if you've been counting all the way up here, there are 40 precursors in this house. And I'm going to try to upload a video showing how that works when you're creating a character specifically to get that. But this is my Tel Galen, and I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, if I make more changes, I'll probably do another tour. So, peace.